from carbonblack.com, cracked Google Glass could mean hacked eyesight. It may come as no surprise that Google Glass has been jailbroken or dot 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 cracked, if you'll forgive the pun. I won't. The news has some worry that the wearable computer may be a serious threat to an owner's privacy since the device currently has no authentication system and a hack would essentially mean hijacked eyesight, among other possible evils. And what they mean by that is that your eyesight is simulated by the camera in your Google Glass and therefore they are actually hacking your eyesight. Not quite. Not until the computer chips in your brain will they be able to do that. As reported by Forbes, Jay Freeman, a well-known Android and iOS developer, tested a known exploit for Android on Glass and announced a successful crack on Twitter. He later wrote, once the attacker has root on your glass, they have much more power than if they had access to your phone or even your computer. They have control over a camera and a microphone that are attached to your head. A bugged glass doesn't just watch your every move. It watches everything you are looking at into intentionally or furtively. You know, like that, uh, you know, that cleavage glance. And here's everything you do. The only thing it doesn't know are your thoughts. So if you're wearing Google Glass and you want to check out some, you know, you move your eyes, not your head. Just, just to be safe. Or wear sunglasses and don't get caught at all. As reported by Forbes, Freeman says, oh no, and one more, the only thing it doesn't know are your thoughts. Yes. As reported by Forbes, Freeman says he was able to hack Glass using the device's debug mode and a flaw in its backup function that tricks the device into thinking it's running as an emulation on a developer's machine. Quote, you take a backup from the device, modify the backup, and then restore the modified backup to the device. While the backup is restoring, you make a change to the data being restored that redirects the data being restored to override a critical configuration file. This makes the device think that it is not running on real hardware. You make it think it is instead running on the emulator used by Android developers to test their software on desktop slash laptop computers. Is the emulator is designed for developers that has full control and gives you root. It knows all your passwords, for example, as it can watch you type them and even manages to monitor your usage of otherwise safe, old-fashioned technology. It watches you enter door codes. It takes pictures of your keys, and it records what you write using a pen and paper. Nothing is safe once your glass has been hacked. So this does take the technology to the next level and the risk to the next level when, with a cell phone, the best they can do, even with the government, you know, who knows what they're doing with all the... What, 1.3 million uh, Americans as part of the national security apparatus and the billions, if not trillions, spent on snooping with the NSA and all their data centers. Uh, you know, passive listening device right here with the microphone. Maybe it's in your pocket. Maybe it's on the table. Who knows? Maybe they're recording everything that we're saying right now. Wouldn't be a bad idea since we might screw up this recording. We could go, always go to the NSA for a backup copy, right? But... It, it, is, it is scary to think that when you, when you take the technology to the next level, you have that greater risk of greater information being hacked. And I just want to share the story because I, I don't really believe that Google Glass is going to be uh, this easily hacked when it becomes commercially available. Um, but as the personal portable technology increases in its capabilities and eventually goes inside your brain, being security conscious is going to be especially important. But the most important thing we can do, and I figure we're going to get to this somewhere along the time we're putting chips in our brains anyways, is making sure that government is not a threat to this. Because when it's a, when it's a private hack, when someone, and, and, and see, this is the greatest accountability. I don't think that, that we're, when, when, when we get rid of government, I don't think we're going to have a world where um, every security apparatus will, will, will be like, you know, will be airtight. But it'll be traceable if something is hacked or if some information is used. And that's much more important, right? Like, why would I be worried uh, wearing a Google Glass with, uh, you know, a key, you know, opening the, the, the door to my house with, with a key and someone could, you know, take a picture of that, copy and, and, and make a duplicate of the key and they could open my door. But if I've got a security camera on the front and if my Google Glass gets hacked, I can trace that back to whoever hacked it. And there's some, you know, private organization that's responsible for keeping me safe that would protect me in the case of a breach. I think that's going to be an effective mechanism as well. But one way or another, as we adopt these new technologies, especially while we still have to deal with this government surveillance problem, we have to be increasingly security conscious. Some security experts notice that Glass does not necessarily pose an elevated risk over other hacked devices. As reported by CSO, Gartner analyst Anton Truvakin said of using Glass in a clandestine operation, it's completely unrealistic but exciting to talk about. To me, the risk of a rooted Glass device is similar to a rooted smartphone. 
As reported by the Register, Google X Lab developer Stephen Lau elaborated on his Google Plus page to the effect that when a company like Google releases a device that's intended exclusively for developers, nobody should be surprised when that device proves to be highly hackable. Quote, not to bring anybody down, but seriously, we intentionally left the device unlocked so you guys could hack it and do crazy fun shit with it. I mean, FFS, for fuck's sake, you paid $1,500 for it. Go to town on it. Show me something cool. Now, it sounds like a bit of a backpedal because it still had to be hacked. Did they leave it hackable or did they leave it unlocked? Uh, big difference here. This is kind of like the old, uh, you know, user going to the developer saying, hey, uh, I found a bug in your device. And the developer says, um, that's not a bug. It's a feature which is what the government will tell you when they develop greater ways of snooping on you. Oh, that's that's not a bug with government. That's not a problem. That's just an additional feature of our services to keep you safe from yourself. The dollar as the reserve currency of the world is certainly being challenged. In making a practical decision to move a portion of their business into mountain hours, it makes a lot of sense. So one Bitcoin can be divided between 100 million people.